Today we had another uh, day of trial in the uh, Kransky case. This is the first um, ASR case to be tried in the country. Um, the testimony today uh, was put on by the defense. This was uh, the second full day of the defense's case. Um, and they had some, some very interesting experts. Um, the first one was a, a Dr. Uh, Postenbach. Um, Dr. Postenbach is a toxicologist and he testified about cobalt and chromium and provided testimony that essentially indicated that um, they were harmless uh, metals that uh, even at levels of 200 or 300 times normal uh, people who had these metals in their bodies had nothing to worry about. Um, it was very uh, interesting testimony um, uh, from the, the plaintiff's standpoint because it, it really conflicted with a lot of the testimony um, that was provided um, by some of the other uh, experts in this case, including Depew's own experts who indicated that levels above two or three um, uh, were worrisome and needed to be monitored very closely. Um, the other thing that was sort of interesting about the um, the testimony, and this was all confirmed on cross-examination, which was a great cross-examination of this expert um, by uh, Mr. Kelly, uh, Mike Kelly, the lead plaintiff attorney in the case, um, was that th this expert was not testifying about tissue damage, whether cobalt and chromium can cause tissue damage in the hip joint. He was only talking about whether it could cause cancer or heart problems or sort of systemic problems uh, throughout the body. Um, but What's interesting is that this case is not about systemic problems. The plaintiff is not claiming he uh, contracted cancer, had heart problems, or any kind of problems as a result of the cobalt and chromium, only that he had problems in the hip joint, which was actually confirmed by a surgeon when he found black stained tissue in the hip joint. Um, so it was almost sort of like two ships passing in the night, which seems to be uh, happening a lot in this case. Um, but what was great about uh, Dr. Postenbach was the cross-examination of, of him. Um, during the cross-examination it was discovered um, that Mr. Postenbach uh, has done lots of work for industry. Uh, he uh, has been an expert retained in asbestos cases, uh, dioxin cases, and he always finds that things are not toxic is, is what I got from the cross-examination. Um, he also uh, had a, um, a situation where he was uh, representing uh, a company, PG&E, uh, who was accused of uh, poisoning groundwater with chromium. And uh, what he wanted was some literature out there to show that chromium did not increase your risk of cancer. And there was a doctor in China who years before had written a paper on a study he'd done on a group of people in China who contracted cancer after being exposed to chromium. Um, that doctor concluded in his original published paper that these the chromium levels increased your risk of cancer. Well, Dr. Postenbach went to this doctor and actually convinced the doctor to do what he called a follow-up study. And Dr. Postenbach apparently uh, drafted the follow-up study, which of course concluded that chromium did not increase your risk of cancer, and then had this Chinese doctor uh, submit the article as if he wrote it. And so it, it was in essence an accusation that this expert had convinced another doctor um, to change his results, his published paper, um, in order to make his client look good. Uh, it, it was pretty damning evidence, I thought, uh, from a plaintiff's perspective. Um, the other thing that was interesting is Dr. Postenbach also did a, uh, a study, his own study, on cobalt and chromium, which consisted of uh, him and, and uh, nine people that work for him uh, taking, cobalt and cro taking cobalt pills uh, for 30 days and increasing their, intentionally increasing their own cobalt levels to about 30 parts per billion. Uh, and of course, he and his uh, employees who were forced to uh, take these pills uh, didn't have any problems. Um, uh, there was a lot on cross-examination the flaws with a study like that were, were highlighted um, because it was such a short study 
and the the in such a small number of people and the people who were actually in the study had an economic interest in hoping that the study came out the way they wanted so there were definitely some flaws in that study but one of the things that I found most interesting about Dr. Dr. Postenbach was how much he has charged Depew uh, since being involved in this case. Uh, he's been involved for 20 months and has billed more than five million dollars uh, to Depew. Um, all of that, I think, um, uh, really called into question his testimony. Uh, the other individual we heard from in the defense case was Dr. Thomas Schmalzry. Um, you may recall he testified earlier in the case by videotape in the plaintiff's case. Um, this time, uh, Depew actually brought him in live to testify. Uh, and Dr. Schmalzried was the, one of the designers of the hip. He was actually accredited as being the, the inventor of the hip. Um, Dr. Schmalzried uh, testified that, you know, it was one of those situations. He was trying his best. He didn't know that this was going to happen, that there was going to be a high failure rate. Um, but on cross-examination, I think it, it, bringing him live really backfired for Depew. Um, uh, he was forced to admit that uh, there had been studies showing cobalt could cause cancer in animals um, and that they did nothing to investigate that. He was forced to admit that they really did no kind of uh, analysis on the effects of cobalt and chromium on uh, the tissue in the joint uh, or systemically. Um, he was forced to admit that they had done very little testing on this hip before it was released to the market. Um, they really only tested it uh, in the ideal, they tested one size of the hip at the perfect angle. Um, and so there were a lot of concessions that were made uh, by Dr. Schmalzried on cross-examination that I think really helped the plaintiff a lot. Um, so far, I think another good day for the plaintiffs, even though uh, they did take some hits. Um, if you have a uh, Depew ASR or any other kind of metal on metal hip uh, and you're uh, looking for help, feel free to call us. Uh, Stuart Talley and our, my phone number is area code 916-448-9800. You can also reach me by Skype. Uh, my Skype username is Stuart Talley. It should be easy to find. Um, and then also if you want information on cobalt or chromium, we have a website. Uh, that has lots of uh, what I think is very valuable information about cobalt and chromium, lots of uh, scientific papers, uh, videos of experts uh, talking about the issue. Um, and that website is www.cobalt-chromium-toxicity.com.